Okay, so I'm gonna give you some financial advice that if you do it, you will make a lot more money in 2021. I can guarantee it. I guarantee you that you make more money. This is a three-step process that I just finished a few minutes ago, going over with my coaching and consulting group that I do. I do a coaching and consulting call once a month that is free if you are involved in my software and my program, The Second Mind. The Second Mind is my uh, software that I invented to use neuroplasticity to retrain and rewire your brain, to basically turn your brain into a magnet for what you want, like kind of like meditation on steroids. And so if you wanna check that out, you can use a free demo of The Second Mind right there down below in the link. So anyways, I was doing this three-step process that really changed my financial life. And I wanted to give you a sneak peek of a little bit about it. And I wanted to walk you through this exact process. So this isn't like a normal video. So um, if you are able to get a pen or a pad, make sure you do that so we can make sure that you not only remember everything we talk about, but you apply it into your life so you can see your bank account start to grow. So if you are excited, about making more money in your life, hit a like button on this side or this side to send it out to more people and be sure to leave a comment right there down below and let me know in the comments if you're excited to make more money and let's dive right into it. Number one is to identify your financial thermostat and to reset it. So Maxwell Maltz wrote a book called Psycho Cybernetics a cybernetic mechanism is something that is often in technology that programs a set point or an end point. In a thermostat, you set it for 70 degrees and it makes sure that the house stays at 70 degrees no matter what. It has an internal set point and it's designed to make sure it adheres to it. So if you open the window and it's 30 degrees outside, that thermostat kicks in the uh, the, the uh, set point kicks in to ensure that it hits the destination. Kind of the same thing with the GPS, although the GPS can't take control of the steering wheel, so technically you can, you can ignore it. It's what happens in big commercial airlines that fly from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia. The pilot's not flying the whole way. It's on a total constant autocorrect course that's programmed to make sure that you get there. So it's, it's an autopilot system. Same thing when they shoot a rocket ship out to the moon. It's a cyber mechanism that has a clear set point. Now, your brain follows the same exact law and you have a financial set point that's been set in your life. And the easiest way to discover what it is is to look at the financial results in your life. Most people make the same amount of money year after year. Once they hit prime income earning age, they make the same amount. It doesn't matter what the number is, call it X. They make X amount of dollars pretty much year after year after year within the same pretty much percentile. And, and it's predictable. After a while, it embeds in your brain and you think it's normal and you can't make any more. But it's totally untrue. Just like you can update the financial thermostat in your house to increase the temperature, you can update the financial thermostat in your mind to increase the amount of money that you earn. And so the first thing that I want you to do is clearly think about what is your financial set point. Write it out with a clear quantifiable measurement. So don't write lack or abundance, write a quantifiable measurement of where your income earning financial thermostat is presently set for. Now, the second point in this is to reset it. So clearly using your conscious will, define a clear objective of what you want your financial set point to be set at. Do this in two ways, both average monthly income and annual income. So clearly redefine what your financial set point is and have it written out. Since your brain is a cybernetic mechanism, it works most efficiently if you give it a clear objective. If you do not give it a clear objective, then it continues to recreate the past based off of the previous subconscious set point that was determined financially. 
So you'll have your old financial set point and your new one. So you might make $40,000 a year and you say, I wanna make 55. So you have your new financial set point that is clearly defined. Almost nobody has a clearly defined annual and monthly financial goal that is quantifiable and clearly measurable. So that's step number one. Number two is to analyze your existing income earning model and brainstorm additional sources of income. First, let's begin with looking at the existing model. Most people have one primary source of income. So if you make $40,000 a year on salary at a job and you have worked there for a while and you decide your goal is you wanna make $60,000 a year, that's your new financial set point. Then the first question is, can I get this extra $20,000 from my existing income source? For most people, the answer is no, because it's a clearly defined, this is how much you make and this is the way it is. But the subset of this is tinker with your existing income source. Tinker with your primary income source. And what I mean by that is maybe you go talk to your boss and you say, hey look, I'm really excited about 2021. I feel pumped up, I have all these new goals in my life and I wanna earn more money. And I know the way to earn more money is to be more valuable to our company, to our customers, to our clients. And I'm trying to come up with some ideas that I can help more. So I could be more valuable, have more responsibility and also earn some more money as well. Do you have any ideas that could help me out um, at, that you, know, you might be looking for? They might say, yeah, totally. If you wanna spend an extra 10 hours doing this and this, or they might say, yeah, we actually um, have a bunch of phone leads. I know you, you have never done sales with us before, but do you wanna work 15 hours a week on the phones? Right, they may have an idea. So you could tinker with your existing income source, your income vehicle, and you could get an extra 10% about it or 100% out of it. So tinker with the existing first. Now the second part of this is to outline additional sources of income. Albert Einstein once said that nothing happens until something moves. So if you're with me still, and this is starting to make sense, boom, 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 yes, I can do all of these steps, I'm excited right now. If that's you, let me know in the comments right there down below, let me know in the comments and say I'm ready to earn more money. Comment, I'm ready to earn more money. So the way to earn more money is often to develop additional sources of income. The wealthiest people in the world have countless sources of income. So if your goal is to make 60 and right now you make 40, no need to quit the existing job. See if we can tinker with it first and maybe we can get an extra five or 10 grand out of it. Then we got the difference still left. So the difference is gonna involve multiple sources of income. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out a pen and pad and at the top of the paper, you're gonna write additional sources of income. And you're gonna come up with every idea you could possibly come up with. Some of them may suck, some of them may, you may never do. When my wife and I did this back when we were trying to get out of our financial hole, we made a list of every single thing. I mean, even things that we never ended up even coming close to doing, like making our own granola company and selling it at farmer's markets. We came up with everything we could because nothing happens until something moves. We have to have that shift in thought that says I can actually develop additional sources of income. And when you do, you might start one idea, but then it leads to another idea that's totally different, and it's the idea that changes your life. And so what you're gonna do is try to come up with at least 10, at least 10 sources of income. For instance, it might be like house cleaning, right? It might be like uh, landscaping, or it might be like, hey, uh, I'm Billy and I'm good at uh, digital marketing. I'm good at online advertising because I work for a digital marketing agency and my friend Jessica is a fantastic masseuse or my friend uh, Hector um, has this great consulting business but he's not getting enough customers and I'm really good at online advertising and I need an additional source of income. I need to leverage my skills more so I could raise my income ceiling. So I could raise my income ceiling by having additional vehicles, additional Additional financial vehicles and so I go well why don't I partner with Hector and I do all the online marketing and I promote uh, ads in the zip codes we're in to attract more customers to a simple lead page and then Hector closes them and gets more customers or Susie closes them and gets more people for her massage work or it might be like I already am a masseuse but I work 40 hours a week and my hands are getting dang sore and so um, what can I do 
I'm maxed out on my income ceiling. There's two things. One is you could either increase the cost by an extra five or 10 bucks on each massage. And number two, that has more leverage and more scale is that you bring on another masseuse. And maybe you partner with a digital marketing company so you can get more leads. Or maybe you learn the skill on your own and you bring three more masseuses on. All of a sudden you went from self-employed to business owner and you're able to leverage other people's time. This is why JP Morgan specifically said, uh, one of the richest people in the history of the world specifically said, um, the most important thing for people that wanna get rich is they must learn and use leverage. What that means is it gives you the opportunity to raise your income ceiling. So make a list of 10 additional sources of income. Everything that you can possibly think of. Maybe you get a part-time sales job on the phone. Uh, maybe you've always had this one idea and you just need to go do it. Maybe you're a great painter or an artist and every Sunday there's a really cool farmer's market. You should get a booth and go sell. That was what happened with my wife. She was in a job she hated. She was still in credit card debt trying to get out of that hole. She wasn't making enough money and, and we built a list of additional sources of income and one of hers was to do painting. She was like, maybe I'll sell a painting once a week. So she makes her first painting. In the middle of it, she decides she should wood burn instead. And nobody was doing wood burning. She nobody, So she just made it up on her own by getting a welder and burning into wood. It ended up being really cool and that very weekend, one of my friends bought it for like 500 bucks or something like that. Her first piece, just like that. All of a sudden it was off to the races and eventually she she was selling thousands of dollars worth of art pieces. So additional sources of income is the key to making 2021 the best year of your life. Okay, before I move into number three, let me say a couple things. Number one is that I know I'm saying a lot. I'm trying to make this truly the most valuable video I could possibly make this for you. Before the, before the lockdowns happened this year, it was estimated that 75% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. So if you factor in the world, you gotta think maybe it's more like 90% of the world lives paycheck to paycheck. And it's probably worse now because a lot of people have lost jobs and a lot of people are, are locked down, they, they can't even seek gainful employment. And so this is an important topic right now. And if you have someone that would get value from this, why don't you watch this again through them and you guys do the exercises together. You brainstorm and mastermind together to help one another build more ideas of additional sources of income. Maybe you have a partner, maybe you have a friend that's good at sales and you have an idea. Well, maybe you can partner and develop it together so you can leverage one another and go into business together with an additional source of income. So if this speaks to you, please make sure that you share Share this video on social media, text, email. Please be sure you hit the like button on this side or this side. This actually does help send this out to more and more and more people. And comment down below, I will achieve my financial goals. Comment down below, I will achieve my financial goals. Okay, and now number three. So number three is create a rule of five. The rule of five was something I first learned from Jack Canfield. He's the creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. And he talks about making a rule of three or a rule of five. And a rule of three or a rule of five is something that you commit to every single day that moves you closer to your objectives of your financial goals, of your new financial thermostat that you've set. And this financial thermostat that you've set is attainable to you if you follow Albert Einstein's simple quote that we keep using. He says that nothing happens until something moves and that's you moving. And so the rule of three or the rule of five has nothing to do with, is it possible? Am I good enough? Am I too old? Am I too young? Am I, do I know how? It just has to do with you showing up to life. And when you show up to your financial life, instead of uh, constantly waiting for it to change, it does actually end up changing. And so the rule of five is, you can do it in three or fives. And I, I invite you to make your first list of the rule of three or the rule of five right now. And what it is, is clearly defined objectives that you do every single day that move you closer to your financial goal. So let's say that you did on step number two, you made that whole list of additional sources of income. And let's say you, when you go back through it, you find one that you're gonna pursue. 
because when you move through number two, the part that I forgot to say is you're gonna put a little star or an asterisk next to the best ones before you move on to number three. So let's say there's one asterisk that you put next to um, selling your, your art or selling guitar lessons or whatever you end up deciding to do. Once you pick what it is, maybe it's even something you partner with somebody, once you pick what it is, then build the rule of five or the rule of three as a daily objective. So that 12 months down the road, if you did the rule of three or you did the rule of five, and there's 365 days in a year, if you did the rule of three, that would be like 365 times three is like over a thousand, just over a thousand. And that would be a thousand inspired actions that you did every single day that moved you closer to your goal. So let's say that, um, let's say that this was something that I was making for a YouTube channel. So the rule of five for me to hit my financial goal might be publish a video every single day, uh, outline three, it might be one of my objectives for the rule of five might be outline three new YouTube videos today. Another one for my rule of five might be make one new thumbnail today. Right, and so these are just simple commitments to yourself to continue to take baby steps in the direction of building an additional source of income. So I invite you to pull out a pen and pad and make your first mock example of the rule of five based off of one of the additional income sources that you decided for yourself. Now the exciting thing is a lot of times what happens is things happen out of nowhere. Like when I wrote my first book, one of the things I was doing was speaking at tons of unity churches and that's, I would get paid gigs that way. And that was kind of my bread and butter. I didn't know at the time, but that led to something else. So the miracles happen once you show up. A new idea comes from nowhere, a new path comes from nowhere once you show up, but not until you show up. And so um, my rule of five was I would email like, Let's say I was like, I'm gonna email five Unity churches in the state of Oregon today to see if any of them will book me. I was getting like 500 bucks a pop for a speech on their Sunday services. So I would make a list and I would email them all with this little press release and pitch that I had. And so I was doing that and that was my gig. And while I'm at one of those events, one of the pastors that hired me, one of the pastors at the Unity Church, they were involved in organizing a TEDx event. And I was like 21, I wasn't thinking about a TEDx event, I had no idea that, right? So they say, hey, dude, we want you to speak at this TEDx event. So I'm like, oh, really, you want me to do it? Sure. And so I end up doing that. That's my first video on the internet that gets you know five figure views and does pretty well. And then that led to getting all these high school speeches where I was getting paid for high schools and colleges. Ultimately, it led to my first real book deal because my first book was self-published. But the TEDx talk gave me enough credibility for Penguin Random House to give me a book advance for a future book. So all of these things happen as a result of me just showing up for one thing. Nothing happens until something moves. So the rule of five is you setting the universe in motion, so to speak financially, to open the doors. So build your rule of five to help you stick to your clearly defined objective financially, as well as the additional sources of income that you're developing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to keep it as short, sweet as I possibly could. We covered three main things. Number one was identify your financial thermostat and reset it. Identify your financial thermostat and then reset it with a clearly, quantifiably measurable, that's a, that's a mouthful, clearly, quantifiably measurable, uh, annual and monthly objective. I make 40 now, I wanna make 60, or, or, or whatever the numbers are. Then number two is to analyze your existing income earning model or vehicle. Does my existing income model or vehicle have the potential to help me earn the amount that I've just decided is my new goal? Yes or no, that's all it can be. And if the answer is yes, then make the small tweaks necessary. Talk to your boss, talk to your manager, talk to your advisor, superior, whatever, about what you could do to be more valuable, to earn more money, to pick up more hours. Or maybe you can move to sales. Maybe you can move to be involved in profits and renegotiate your pay and be involved in commissions. Those are the tweaks on the existing model. Then that moves us to whatever the difference is, 
it will be necessary for you to build an additional source of income to accomplish the rest of the objective. In fact, additional sources of income are often how you become rich. CNBC said that eight out of 10 uh, millionaires are self-employed. So these are income sources you've created for yourself. Self-employed meaning they're small business owners or entrepreneurs. So then you write at the top of the paper additional sources of income and you build a list of at least 10. You go back through and you star the top one or two and you go knock those out or partner with your friend and you guys knock those ones out together and you form a partnership or a new idea. So you define additional sources of income and then you pick one or two to make the focus. And then number three was a rule of five where you build your daily commitments because nothing happens until something moves. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the like button on this side or this side right there. Leave a comment down below and let me know if this spoke to you or this sucked and was the worst video you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, let me know in the comments, hopefully not that one, but let me know in the comments down below and let me know if this spoke to you. If you'd like to see more videos like this where I basically try to run it like a super quick seminar with all the exercises and all that. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, hit the like button on either side, subscribe and bell notification. Of course, uh, the bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. So even if you subscribed like nine years ago, double check and see if you've actually hit the bell notification because that's what notifies you for the new videos. Last but not least, if you have not yet, be sure to demo the second mind. As I said at the beginning, I do a free coaching, consulting calls where we break all this stuff down if you are a member of the second mind. So if you want to check out more about the second mind and the software I created to help you retrain your brain, eliminate old habits and negative childhood belief systems that are blocking you from what you want in life. It's right there down below. It's thesecondmind.com. It's in the comments in the description, jakeducey.com slash thesecondmind. The first mind is the one programmed by society. The second mind is the one using neuroplasticity and free will that you've retrained and rewired. You've turned your brain into a magnet for what you want. And when you do that, amazing things happen. So be sure to check it out in the description and comments right there down below. It's thesecondmind.com. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you for taking the time. I know there's thousands or millions or gajillions of videos on YouTube. And so I appreciate you watching this and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it.